Robert Spencer here for Jihad Watch, a program of the David Horowitz Freedom Center and for the Center for Security Policy. Alton Alexander Nolan, a.k.a. Jaquim Yisrael, was recently found guilty of murder for beheading a co-worker, Colleen Hufford, at Vaughn Foods in Moore, Oklahoma, in September 2014. His trial has revealed anew the incoherence and inconsistency of our official response to the jihad threat. Nolan insisted he was merely following the Quran in statements he made days after the attack that have just been revealed during his trial, Nolan could not have been clearer about his mindset, worldview, and motivations. When he was read his rights, he responded, I'm a Muslim. When asked why he beheaded Colleen Hufford, he answered, I just feel like I did what I needed to do, what Allah says in the Quran to do. Oppressors don't need to be here. Nolan has a case. The Quran says, when you meet the unbelievers, strike the necks. That's chapter 47, verse 4. Nolan thought Colleen Hufford was not just an unbeliever, but something even worse. She was, he explained, a slave to the devil. Nolan himself, on the other hand, was a slave to Allah. He told police, you know the Muslim is somebody who submits their will to Allah. Whatever he wants done, that's what we do. And you know he wants us to get the oppressors out of this place. When asked if he regretted murdering Colleen Hufford, Nolan answered, This wasn't nothing but a trial for me. I passed it because, like I said, I felt oppressed. I knew for sure that if I was to die right then, I was going to heaven. He added, I feel, you know, you know what I'm saying? If I was to die in five or ten minutes, I'm going to heaven. That's all that matters to me. Here again, Nolan has a case. The Quran promises paradise to those who kill and are killed for Allah. That's chapter 9, verse 111. Nolan is, of course, still alive, but like the Fort Hood jihad mass murderer Nidal Malik Hassan, he likely believes that if he were to be executed, it would complete the requirements of that Quranic passage and ensure his ticket to paradise. This was confirmed by the fact that he demanded to be executed and said he would not accept life imprisonment. When asked if anyone had told him to behead unbelievers, he was quite clear about where he got the idea. Uh, no, he said. I read the Quran. Like I say, the Quran is easy to understand. No one guides me but Allah. Nolan also confirmed that he screamed Allahu Akbar as he beheaded Hufford. Both prosecuting and defense attorneys, however, seemed to discount Nolan's statements. The Oklahoman reported that his court-appointed defense attorneys are asking the jury to find him not guilty by reason of insanity. Cleveland County District Attorney Greg Mashburn, meanwhile, went even farther, saying that Nolan, quote, didn't know the difference between right and wrong and didn't know the consequences of his actions. Now, that's nonsense. Nolan knows very well the difference between right and wrong as the Quran explains it. The Quran says, when you meet the unbelievers, strike the necks, and as far as Nolan is concerned, that's what's right. And he knows that as a consequence of his actions, he will go to paradise as Allah has promised. Mashburn was saying, essentially, that standard Islamic belief was tantamount to insanity. Did he have any idea of how Islamophobic he was being? We have seen this before. In Montreal last March, a police complaint was filed against the Dar al-Arqam Mosque in Montreal for hosting an Imam, Sheikh Mohammed bin Musa al-Nasser, who preached, O Muslim, O servant of Allah, O Muslim, O servant of Allah, there is a Jew hiding behind me, come and kill him. But this is a quotation that is attributed to Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. Were the Canadian police really going to stop Imams from quoting Muhammad? Are Oklahoma authorities really going to ascribe obedience to Quranic commands to insanity? At some point, Western officials are going to have to face the contents of Islamic teaching and recognize that bringing large numbers of Muslims into the West is only going to increase the number of beheadings and exhortations to kill Jews as both those things are taught in Islamic texts. Right now it's Islamophobic to point this out, but this enforced fantasy cannot forever obscure unwelcome facts. Before too long, the contents of Islamic teachings will be abundantly clear to everyone. I'm Robert Spencer.